you know, it might take you longer to do it, but I still reckon you can't beat the good out hand saw. And it's so straight. I've done a couple on the saw, uh, the electric saw, and it's the blade is like slightly, and it's ripped it and scored it. And I was like, you know, oh, it's hard work, but it keeps you fit. Right, next job. These are bigger some drawers, by the way, for the camper, for the back, slidey drawers using these slides. I'll go into more detail in a bit. I've just got to get the measurements right. I've already made a cock up once. And you know when this the old saying, measure twice, cut once. Yeah, right. Definitely right. <laughs> okay, so this is the rough idea. You build a drawer, and then I'm gonna put a partition in the middle, and that'll be two drawers. So you have a partition down, probably about here, going straight down. And then each rail, I've got another two rails coming, so one rail this side, and then, oh, let me just show you. Okay, so one rail will fit there, and you can see it sliding, and it comes all the way out. That'll fit against that side, and then to the rails themselves, if you can bring them out, you can see where the holes are. Then you'll screw this into your secondary drawer, which is the drawer that slides. And they fit beautifully like that. I have made a bit of a cock up, but there. This one, it's got like a self, just a self-pushing mechanism. It just fits in, with the other one locks, one with the... I'll show you that. It's got a little locking mechanism on the end. And that. Pushes that and they all fall over. But you got the idea and that's the gist. So that's where we're up to at the moment. I'll probably get a nail gun, some glue, and start whacking this together. Okay, so once you've got your sides cut and the back, the next thing is the most important distances between this one and this one. And you've got to get it so it's not tight because you won't get the drawers out and not loose because they'll jam. So I've just measured it and give it an extra two mil. That was all I've given it. So yeah, hopefully it'll come right. Well, we'll soon see when I start putting it all together. So what I've done as well, so that's the base. So the drawers will then fit into, into these, into the side of these. These I've cut as well, these are my spacers. I've also cut the other side of the drawers, so these will be the actual drawers, that's the base. So that'll contain the drawers, you need that to contain the drawers, got it? It's difficult to get your head round, isn't it? Well, it is for me, ha <laughs> ha. So next thing is I'm gonna cut the base now for the drawer. So I've measured it, so it's 933 to the inside measurement of these two little babes. I've got two more coming yet because there's another drawer. There's going to be like another drawer in here. That's why, hence, eight over there. Uh, this is the school's workshop. Thank you, school. Um, and then also, I've cut the base the same size as that one because it's going to be the same size. All right, so that's where we are so far. So I'm going to cut this by hand, actually. It seems to do a better job, and I get a straighter line by hand. So it sounds daft, but I do. Okay, so I assembled the first base part. These are not going, it's not going, it is going like this, but it's not, because this one will come across here, because we're going to have two, two drawers. So if you imagine, that'll go there, there'll be a partition in the middle. And then, well, I can, let me just try and show you that, okay, hold on one sec. Okay, so this is not the partition, because it doesn't fit properly, okay. This is just to show you, so I've got another set of rails coming, so we'll have these two. Got it? Those two. That's looking pretty good, isn't it? And then we'll have a set of drawers inside here, which will look identical to this, but smaller, that fit in between here. And then you pull each drawer out. To assemble this, quite straightforward. So you've got a nice piece of ply on the bottom, which is your base. That'll be screwed to the van floor. I've only tacked it in with a couple of screws at the moment, but this is so sturdy. <laughs> I'm quite surprised, actually. So I've got three down the sides. I've used glue as well, and I've only put one or two in the bottom at the moment, but yeah, so I'll start carrying on, and I'll carry on screwing this together. But I think you get the picture. Okay. Okay, so this is a rough guide. If you can see down there, there's that rail. These will all be cut down. These are miles too long. These are just temp what I've done on the template. So they'll be cut down just below. Imagine they're too high. Okay, so they'll be cut down just a little bit below this. There'll be a top on this, so you've got a rail 
going down the side. So the rail will be screwed into this. And then it'll be screwed into this. And to do that, you pull the rail out. Same in the middle. And there'll be another, another rail this side and another rail that side with another piece of... Uh, what is this? I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Ply. Sorry, I had a brain fart. So, so we'll have another rail this side, another rail that side. I'll start cutting some of these down actually, so we can get it somewhere near. Uh, and that'll be two drawers. Not yet. I'll show you when it's finished. Okay, so I've got the centre piece now going to fit. I'm going to find dead centre, mark it, and then I'm going to screw it through from underneath. I'll catch that in a sec. Use a T-square. On the base, make sure the centre piece is level. I've put one screw in the bottom here, make sure you've got dead dead centre. And then, yeah, T-squared it off. I'll right, put some more screws in. Oops, sorry, I'll put a few more in the sides, like so, and the back, and then I'll flip back over and I'll show you what I'm going to do next. Okay, that's the lid cut for it. This will be, this is, these will be two separate lids, of course, for these two in the inside. That's all I can do for now until the other runners come. So we'll finish it off when they come. I've got a bit of sanding to do. But yeah, this is a piece of I found that's got a hole in it. I'm not really bothered with that. You're not gonna, I've got to carpet it anyway. Okay, so we'll catch you in a bit when the other runners come, which will be hopefully the end of the week. Okay, so this is the base. Oh, by the way, hi everybody. Um, these are in, they've screwed them in. I've got a little bit more to put better screws to put in them just yet, but they're in just to make measurements. Uh, then what I did then, I got a side rail, like one of these, put it against there, put it against there, just gently, and then measure the distance between, and that's going to be the base. I'll go back to that and I'll show you what I've done at the moment, not in here, but in the workshop. Um, so that's where you are, both sides, so the runners are on, and they're lockable, slidey runners. These are good quality ones, they're at like 100 and... 20 kilos, I think, some of that. That's the lid at the back there. Um, right, so what I did as well, just to show you, make sure everybody knows what I'm doing, because I cock up, it's my fault. Right, so I measured the distance from the back. This is for the drawer itself. Now, it came to 90, can you see that? That came to 90 centimeters, okay? Or 90 mil, no, is it? 90 centimeters. I'm not very good at that. Uh, but then you've got to allow at the back for like six mil for the ply because I'm going to put a, a, a base on it so I'm allowing is it five mil six mil something like that six mil for that so then the piece I measured was 90 mil which is spot on and then the piece at the back goes on and it fits at the back sort of fit into this because I need this to screw to and that brings it forward by six mil which is fine because that's the front of the drawer will then fit on that as well in front of the drawer so these 
are bigger as well so the draw will be slightly over the over the front over the over here <coughs> excuse me to fit the, the draw face and the back as well i'll show you when we get there anyway okay so these are the drawers and i'll put these like that you know stick them on like that and then i'll measure for the back as well and then we'll go and fit them we're well, going to put three screws in for now and some glue and we're going to fit them to see if they they should fit in size and i'll show you how i did them so all i've done was drill two pre-holes on there one down there fit it casually no glue yet i will be using glue i'll come back in to get apart once i've seen, seen that it fits but this should be the front because it overlaps and the back is flat and i'll cut a piece then that goes all the way across up here. So now we're going to fit the other piece and tidy it all up, clean it. So, what we're going to do is just put like that, fit the drill, and we'll drill it. Sorry, just demo purposes. Pretty straightforward. <laughs> Look at this. Look at that. Okay, so we got enough, and it's just there's a little bit. There's about. You look at the plate, which is fine, because you need a little bit of plate, but also what you've got to do afterwards, you've got to place a little tiny bit of ply underneath, or something, so it doesn't drag. I'll show you how to fit them. It's all new to me anyway, so... But yeah, look at that. It's brilliant. Now, whether it's the other way around, I'm just trying to think now. And that goes to the back. Now, that's the drawer front. That'll do. That's fine. It doesn't matter which way. Right, I'll drag them back out. Okay, glue. And then put the original piece back on and then pilot holes. Off to the middle. And then one each side. Okay, so the idea is now put a piece of perspex on the bottom, put the drawer in. I'm going to have to mark where it's going to come, and then we're going to have to pull the drawer out, make sure we stay on the mark, and then pop a screw through. And then we can int we can do each one then. I'll pop a screw through. Okay, so that's where we're at at the moment. So I think that's enough height. Pretty sure. We'll give it a go. So what I've done, I've got the perspex at the bottom, that little tiny, right at the very bottom, and I put a bit of ply on the top. I wanted a little bit more clearance. You can see it's got quite a quite a nice clearance there now. And then what you've got to do then, you've got to mark just to the edge of this, there, where the where it just starts. Before you can do anything, push, push the whole drawer back. Right against the back there, both sides. And then, same with this one, there's a bit of a gap really, right? This is a bit of a play, so that's good news. And then you want to mark that, and then, then bring the drawer forward and put the first screw in. Can you see that? Oh, sorry, can you see that? There we go. So, mark it, pull the whole drawer forward, make sure the, the lines mark up, and then put the first screw in. I'll try and show you that. There you go, mark both sides. Okay, I'm going to pop a screw in there, and I'll do exactly the same on the other side. Okay, first one in, seems to be okay. Uh, pop the next one in. You've got to put a couple in each side, but just bring them around. There we go. And I'll just carry on and I'll show when I've done it. So as you pull the runner forward, you will see the next one line up. There he is, look. That one there. There, that's him. 
and there's another one just at the back here, which we'll do. Another one at the back here. Get them lined up. Don't push too much pressure. There we go. And I think if we go back, oh, it's locked now. It's working. <laughs> I'm chuffed. I am. If we go back a little bit, there's the other one. There's the other one there. So I'll put an extra one in there. Okay. So there's two per. Whatever. There we go. Right, let's have a look at it working. So I'm going to take out the ply, which is this bit. This is the lock. Right, new focus. Right. Well, that is my first attempt at making drawers, and they've turned out okay. So I'll fit the other one now. Um, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and a like, and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. That would be fan, absolutely fantastic. Take care, and we'll definitely catch you in the next one. Look at that. Love it. Cheers. Take care. Bye. Quick finish off with two holes for handles. That's it. Okay, I'm going to put a lid on this at the end and then it'll be carpeted. Uh, it'll look really nice. Thanks, it. Thanks once again.